It's Smitty, and today I am going to teach you guys how to build giant snowflakes in your Minecraft world just in time for the winter season. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you want to do is gather the blocks that you're going to be using to build your snowflakes. So for the tutorial, I am going to be using cyan stained glass, a block of snow, and I'm also going to be using glowstone. Now you don't have to use these exact same um, blocks that I'm using. You could use whatever types of blocks that you want. It really doesn't matter. But you do want to try and keep the glowstone because the glowstone is going to go in the middle of the snowflake. And it's going to help it illuminate at night. Uh, so it'll look really, really pretty. Um, alrighty, so the next thing you want to do is place a marker in your sky. Now the way you get a marker in your sky is... Well, the way I did it was I basically built from the ground up, <laughs> all the way up, and uh, then I stopped wherever I felt that I wanted to build the snowflake, and then I punched out the blocks from the bottom, and then I was left with one block in the sky, which I'm using as my marker. <laughs> So once you have placed your marker in the sky, you're going to add one block right under it, just like that. And then from these two blocks, you're going to add two more blocks under. And then from these two, two on the side. And then punch out this one. So from here, you're going to build one more block, one more block out, punch the center out. Uh, uh, do the same thing to the side, place a block, another block, punch out the center. And you're gonna you're gonna be left with this block right here. You're gonna punch that out as well. So you should have something that looks like this in your sky right now. I will wait a couple of seconds for you guys to get um, caught up. Alrighty, so now we're gonna start on the body. So I'm gonna switch over from stained glass to snow and I am going to place two blocks under like that and then I am going to punch out these two and then place a block in the center of this place a block in under that block <laughs> I hope these uh, directions are okay <laughs> and then punch out the center so you should have something that looks like this in your sky right about now. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get started with the side of the body. So I'm gonna place a block right under this, and then from there, a block on the side, and then make an L shape. And then punch out this block. And then from there, I'm going to place another block and do the same thing, make an L shape, and then punch that one out. So this is how the snowflake should be coming along right about now. Alrighty, so now that we got this down, I am going to start doing the center of the snowflake. So I'm going to place a block right here, right under this, and then a block on the side of it, and then punch that out. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then punch that out. Now I'm going to switch over to actually not yet I'm still gonna use the snow so I'm gonna place the glowstone in the center of the snowflake so uh, I'm just gonna place a block of snow right in the center and then a glowstone right under it punch that right out from the top so you should have something that looks like this right about now now we're gonna do the sides right over here so we're gonna place a block right here a block on the side and then a block right here punch that out from this block we're gonna place another block under it block on the side of that and then punch that out and then we're gonna do that same thing on this side There we go. 
So hopefully you guys are getting the hang of it and are keeping along with me. I hope I am explaining it well and showing it well. Um, alrighty, so we're gonna finish the bottom center of the snowflake. Alrighty. So now we're gonna place a block right under the glowstone and then two blocks on the side of it. And then we're gonna punch this out. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna finish the bottom half. So we're gonna place a block under this. And then a block on the side, another block, and then make an L shape, and then punch that out. Now you're gonna do the same thing over here. A block right under this. Two, L. And then punch that out. Yay, so everything is coming along. So now we're gonna place a block in the center of these. And then I think we do, one moment. <laughs> yeah, a block in the center right here. Punch that out. And then from this block, we're gonna place one under and then one on the side of that and another one on the side of that one, and then punch that out. So, you should have something that looks like this in your world right about now. So hopefully you guys um, are keeping up with me. I'm just, just going to change the time to day. Alrighty, so we are basically going to create that design right under here. So we are going to place, um, by the way, I am switching to stained glass now. So I am going to place two blocks under that, just like that. And then one more, and then punch these two out. So you should have two floating blocks right under the snowflake body. Now from here, we're going to place one block under that, one block on the side, one block under this, and one block on the side, and then punch those two out. So you should have something that looks like that right about now. Alrighty, so now we are going to finish the last of it, so you're going to place one block right under one block right under this one, and then one on the side, one on the side, one in the center, and then punch these out. And then from this block, one right under it. So there is your almost finished snowflake. We just have to finish the sides. So now we are basically going to make these this design on the side. So we are going to place two blocks right on the side, punch out the center, and then from there we are going to place a block under that, a block right here, and then a block on the side, and a block right under, and then punch out those. So now we are going to finish it up by placing a block right here, block right here, and you're just going to go in place a block in the center, punch these out, and then place one block on the side of that, and you're almost done. So you should have something that looks like this in your world right about now. So it's basically the same way. I'm going to place two blocks, punch this out, and then from here, place a block there, a block there, block right under, a block on top, and then punch those out. And then from here, a block there, block there, and then go in till you hit the middle, and then punch this out, this out, this one out, this one out, and then a block on the side of that. 
And there is your finished snowflake. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make it more 3D-ish if you like. If you want to keep your snowflake just like that in your world, that is perfectly fine. I think they still look really, really pretty. But for those of you who kinda of wanna go a step further and make it more 3D-ish, um, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Alrighty guys, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a 3D snowflake. So, you're gonna start off with your first uh, block. I'm going to start off with stained glass because we're starting from the top. So what you're gonna do is you're going to place a block. Oops, let me take off smooth cam. You're gonna place a block in the center and then a block on the side and then hit that out. And then from here, a block right on the side of that and a block on top, hit that out. Then from here, a block right here in the center of the snowflake and then a block on the side and then just hit that out. Now you're going to switch over to your other block if you happen to be using it. But if not, you could just stick with the same block that you're using now. You're going to place one block right here, one block under it, punch that out and then make an L form. Then you're going to place a block in the center of this and then connect it to that like that and then punch that out. So you should have something that looks like that. Hopefully you guys could see right about now. Now we're going to finish it up and place one block here, one block right under it, punch that out, place one block under this, a block in the back and then a block under, punch it out. Next, you're going to start under. Now you are going to place a block right here, a block on the side, punch that out. Next, a block right here, a block right under, punch that out, and then make an L. So next, you're going to place a block right here, and then a block right on the side of it, and then punch that out. And then from there, you're going to switch back, place a block in the center, and then a block on the side, punch that one out, and then a block right under this, a block on the side of that, punch that out. Now we're going to finish the little um, end of it. So you're going to place a block right here, right here. Right there, right there. Punch that out, punch that out. And then place a block on top of that, block on top of that, punch that out. A block right on the side, a block under, and punch that out. Next, you are going to place a block right under. Same thing at the bottom. Until you get to the center, then you're going to place a block in the center. Punch those two out, and a block at the end. And there you go. You have an almost 3D snowflake. So we're just gonna do the same thing to the opposite side of the snowflake. Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna show you guys how to do the opposite side. It's basically the same way, but I know some of you still might need some help, so we'll go through this together. So from here, you're going to place a block in the center, block on the side of that, and then knock that out, and then a block on the side of that, and then a block on top of this block, and then punch that out. Now you're going to place a block right here, a block on the side of that, punch that out, and then we are going to make an L shape, so then we are going to place a block on the side of that, a block under, punch that out, and then from here, a block under that, a block on the side, and then we are going to place a block in the center of this, and then a block on the side of that, punch that out. Next, we are going to place a block right here, block under, punch that out, block under this, 
a block on the side of that block <laughs> and punch this out actually don't punch that out my bad leave that there and then place a block right under it and now punch it out sorry I didn't mean to confuse any of you now we are going to place a block in the center of this block on the side of that and then punch out the block now we are going to make an owl-like shape on the side so what we're going going to do is place a block right on the side of that block under it punch that out and then place a block here and then right under that one and then once you're done with that you are going to place a block right under here and then a block on the side of that and then punch that out now we're going to finish the bottom now you're going to place a block right in the center of that a block on the side and then punch this out then you're going to place a block on the center of this on the side of that <laughs> sorry and then under this block and then punch that out now we're going to finish the side of this snowflake. So now we're going to place a block here, a block there, another block right on the side, and then punch these two out. And then a block on the side of that, a block on the side of this, and then on top, and then under, and then punch those two out. And then we are almost finished with the whole thing. So. Place a block right on the side of that, block on the side of that, on top, under, until you get to the middle, place a block, and then you're going to punch these two out. And then the very last block right on the side of that. And now you are officially done with your snowflake. So this concludes the tutorial on how to build a giant snowflake in your Minecraft world to give it a more magical touch for the winter season. I hope that this was helpful and inspiring to some of you and I do hope that I explained how to build it clear. <laughs> and if you have to, you can always go back and pause at the places that you need to in order to build it. Uh, but yeah, if you have any other suggestions for builds, please leave those in the comment section below and I will try my best to make it happen. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!